Hi Gandhi class, welcome to your first wider curriculum session this week. Now in today's lesson we are going to be having a history lesson and our learning objective for today is can I use a range of sources to explore Victorian inventions. Now the reason why I'm taking a little bit of a break from DT is because I want to give you more information about Victorian inventions and I want us to delve in deeper about what they are and what they're like and it also I thought that this would give you some more inspiration for your DT project and your own inventions that you're creating. So what we've got is some history experts talking to us about different Victorian objects and inventions. But before we get onto that, this is the first time we've ever looked at sources together. So a source is something that tells us about history. I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to make a bullet pointed list about all the things that you can think of that tells us about history. So pause the video here to do that. Okay, so you should have a list of things that you think will tell us about history. And I'm going to share with you now some things um, that do tell us about history. And here they are. So a source could be a photograph. It could be a photograph of something in the past. It could be a painting. It could be an object. It could be a piece of writing such as letters, diaries or journals. It could be a recording, whether it's a voice recording or a video recording. It could be a newspaper article, or it could be a book. So these are some examples of some sources that we have in history. Now, all of these do a great job in telling us on what things were like in the past. Sources are then split into three different types. So the first type we have is a primary source. My turn, your turn. Primary source. Primary source. Now this is a first hand account or piece of evidence from the period of that time. So it could be something like a photograph, that's a primary source. It could be um, a diary entry, that's a primary source. So it's something that is from that period of time. We've also got Secondary source, my turn, your turn. Secondary source. Secondary source. Now this is an account written after that period of time using a primary source to help. And this could be things like um, history textbooks that use sources and evaluate them and then are written down at a later time. Um, it could also be somebody sharing information with you about these objects. And then finally, we've got tertiary source. Tertiary source. Now, this is something that summarizes information from primary and secondary sources. For example, it could be something like an encyclopedia. That is a tertiary source. So our history experts, Miss Hudson and Miss Blay, have very kindly recorded themselves speaking about four different inventions for you. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go and find these videos and have a pencil and paper ready as I want you to make notes about any key bits of information or anything that you find interesting. So if we have a look here, these are the names uh, for the history videos that you need to type into YouTube. I will also be putting a link to the playlist in the description box below um, and on the task list sheet as well. So the first invention that you'll be looking at is coal. Then the next invention will be something about medicine. The third one is the telegraph. And then the fourth one is a zoetrope. Okay, and when you are done watching these videos and making your notes, please come back to this video so I can set your task for you. Okay, so your task. Using your notes, I want you to pick one of these tasks below. 
So task number one, in your neatest handwriting, I want you to write your top two facts for each Victorian invention, which means you will have eight facts in total. So I want two facts about the coal video, two facts about the medicine video, two facts about the telegraph, and two facts about the zoetrope. Or what you could do is if you are able to, and mummies and daddies are able to record you, um, then I would like for you to record yourselves speaking about the Victorian inventions. Again, I want to see your top two facts for each invention, which means there should be eight facts in total. So activity number one is to write out the top two facts. Activity number two is to record yourself and you can pick one of these um, activities to complete. Please make sure you upload your work to Tapestry and I am really looking forward to seeing what you have got. Bye Gandhi class, see you next time.